After the tomb was opened in 2006, the old man's body, which had been in the grave for a full 15 years, was found completely incorruptible and fragrant. Our most reverend metropolitan then called the pathologist Pan and Jai Morello, to look at and examine the incorrupt body. To make up his mind, he took hold of Father Bessarion's hands and feet and shook them. What, however, left all of us who were there, and even more so the experienced doctor, speechless, was the following incredible event. When he tried to take a small gospel from the hands of the holy elder, to check if and how much it was worn over time, the elder did not give it to him, says Archimandrite Damaskinos, Zaharakis, abbot of Agathon's monastery. The coroner persistently pulled it two or three times to no avail. And then he whispered, My God, what do I live for? I have never seen such a phenomenon in my entire forensic career of 50 plus years. A man dead for 15 years has the gospel firmly in his hands and I can't take it. This is incomprehensible to me. Full of surprise and admiration, he then turned to the saint and said, Give me, Father, just to see the gospel, and I will return it to you. Then we saw how the old man's hand relaxed and left the gospel in the hands of the coroner, who was so shocked that he crossed himself. After flipping through it, he found it untouched by time, placed it in the hand of the holy old man, who again squeezed it in the palm of his hand and keeps it like that to this day, adds Archimandrite Damaskinos. Many monks were witnesses of this event, which is also recorded in the book The Gospel of Elder Vissarion, published by the Agathon Monastery. The relics of this holy monk still show the signs of the presence of the Holy Spirit in his body, and for the faithful they are a testimony of faith and divine blessing. Holy Father Vissarion, pray to God for us.